Good evening. It's Mary. Welcome to our final October book review. As you may remember, I wanted this final read in October to be a little spooky, so I chose a graphic novel adaptation of some of the Edgar Allan Poe stories. Poe, Stories and Poems by Gareth Hintz. So this book contains seven Poe creations, including The Mask of the Red Death, The Cask of Amontillado, Annabelle Lee, The Pit and the Pendulum, The Telltale Heart, The Bells, and probably the most loved of all Poe's creations, The Raven. Truth be told, if I had chosen the stories and poems included in this book, I may have made different choices. I own the complete tales and poems of Edgar Allan Poe, and I've probably only read The Bells once before. But I really like this graphic novel adaptation of these Poe stories and poems, and the titles included work well together. It was very odd to read The Mask of the Red Death, which is about a plague, in our current COVID situation, but it also added a new dimension of understanding to the story for me. I've said before that when I read a graphic novel adaptation of something I've already read, I notice different things, and this was again true. I liked this book much more than I thought possible, and it did provide a little spookiness to the end of my October. What are my other book recommendations? Let's take a look. I'm going to stay in the graphic novel and manga collection for these recommendations. And they basically are all adaptations of classics. First is the manga adaptation of Macbeth by William Shakespeare. It's been adapted by Crystal Chan and the art is by Julian Choi. Macbeth can be very heavy to read, but the combination of illustrations and text makes it less so. The Odyssey. And this adaptation is also by Gareth Hinds, who did the adaptation of the Poe stories. To Kill a Mockingbird, adapted by Fred Fordham. I assure you, this is on my to-be-read list. And finally, Anna Frank's Diary, adapted by Ari Folman with illustrations by David Polanski. Reading this graphic novel adaptation of The Diary of a Young Girl by Anna Frank added a whole different level of understanding of the plight of Anna Frank, her family, and friends. I hope that you enjoyed the October book reviews. I'll be back soon with my What I'm Reading in November. Until then, I hope you enjoy all that you read. Thank you.